Today, we'll be looking at SK Hynix's Gold P31 SSD. Hello and welcome to First Look. I'm Young John. Today, we'll be looking at SK Hynix's Gold P31 SSD. If you've never heard of SK Hynix, just know that they're a huge manufacturer making memory and storage products for the likes of IBM, Lenovo, and Dell. Okay, they sell to in huge quantities to those guys. So now they're tiptoeing into consumer space. Now, before we took a look at their S31, their two and a half inch SATA drive. Uh, but today we're gonna look at the P31, which is the gumstick version, the NVMe M.2 form factor. It comes in a package the size of my hand, mainly because the stick itself is much smaller. And if we look at the front of the box, you have the butterfly logo of the SK Hynix brand. Gold P31 SSD, one terabyte in size. On the back, we have the image of the chip over here. And they try to be a good global citizen by following environmental values. You can see that this is printed with soy ink and a whole bunch of other kind of eco-friendly logos over there. A little bit below that, you see SK Hynix and a whole bunch of stuff written in Korean, which can be forgiven because they are a Korean company. And with English coming in a close second over there, and it says the warranty information are enclosed in the box. It comes with a super long five-year warranty, and you can see all the certifications by the logos attached over there. Now here's something I found funny. Now, the print says, read carefully before opening. By breaking the seal, you are accepting SK Hynix's terms and conditions enclosed in the box. Enclosed in the box. So how do we accept the terms and conditions enclosed in the box if we haven't been able to read it? It's like a catch-22, the chicken and the egg. In the box, but we can't open it until we open the box. So <laughs> I think it was lost in translation somewhere over there. We won't hold it against SK Hynix, but you know, it doesn't make any sense. Just saying. So by opening this, we will accept your terms and conditions. We have this, and we have some paperwork. A lot of paperwork, actually. We have our user instructions, SK Hynix terms and conditions, and biodegradable packaging. So here's the chip is protected in plastic. Now, before you remove it, be sure to ground yourself. Unlike the S31, which is the SATA drive that we reviewed the last time, uh, this has no casing or protection. So if you're charged with static electricity and you touch the chip, this chip will be useless. So please ground yourself beforehand. Okay. And here it is. It's really the size of kind of like my finger here. It's very, very small. Now this chip is the first in the world to use 128 layered NAND. What that does is reduce the amount of electricity it uses, thus reducing the amount of heat it produces, and it makes the chip size very, very small. Hooray for miniaturization. While I'm not going to remove the sticker, if I turn it sideways like this, you'll see the imprint on the chip itself. It'll say SK Hynix on it. I don't know if you can read that, but SK Hynix produces their own memory chips and they make their own controllers that bridge the chips to your computer. Now, most companies who make SSDs will purchase memory chips from a company and a controller from a different company like Sandforce or Fison or something, and then they'll finagle it together. But SK Hynix makes their own everything from chip, to controller and all of that, so you know that the chip is optimized for maximum performance. Ooh, finally got it open. Let's insert our SK Hynix, like that, and then I push it down like that. There, finally, woo! And now there it is. We have successfully installed the SSD. 
Let's go to disk management here. In Windows 10, you must initialize a disk before Logical Disk Manager can access it. Okay, fine. Let's go okay. It's unallocated, so let us go ahead and new simple volume. Yes, we will do the maximum. Yes, assign a D. Yes, and format this volume. We'll do a quick format. We will call this one data. There we go. And it's ready. We will select D, uh, five passes, one gigabyte, and let's go. Testing is finished, and it has a sequential write speed of large files of 1,757 megabytes per second and a write speed of 1,693.3 megabytes per second. Uh, when it comes to smaller files, look at these two numbers down over there. It has a read speed of 53.2 megabytes per second and a write speed of 103.3 megabytes per second. Now, as fast as these numbers are, we have a slight problem. The P31 is capable of using PCIe version 3 by 4 lanes, which theoretically can reach 4,000 megabytes per second read. The real world speed should be around 3,500 megabytes per second. Now, the problem here that you see on the screen is that my laptop has two SSDs in there, and there are a limited number of lanes. So even though it's capable of four lanes, it's probably splitting that up between the two SSDs I have installed. So the first SSD is given two lanes and the one that I just installed, this P31, is given the other two lanes, limiting the speed to 1757 megabytes per second reads. So as long as you have a machine that's capable of giving your SSD all four lanes of PCIe version 3, you can have the speeds of up to 3500 megabytes per second. I want to cry. If we take a step back though, the reality of the situation is these SSDs are so stupendously fast, even though it's only limited to two lanes, that most people won't even notice a difference. Now, even if you're a video editor or a photo editor and you need to transfer a lot of files, uh, your bottleneck or your slowdown is gonna be totally somewhere else. Uh, more like, you know, at the card reader level, uh, it's not gonna be fast enough to even approach the speed that we're seeing on the screen over here. So I wouldn't worry about it so much in the bigger picture of things. Now, just as a frame of reference, on the right, you see the speeds of uh, our SK Hynix S31 tests. That's the two and a half inch drive using the SATA 3 interface uh, that has a read speed of 556 megabytes per second. Uh, compare that to the P31, whose actual speed is not 1700, but 3500-ish megabytes per second. It completely pulverizes the SATA 3 interface uh, by about seven times the speed. And this is in an SSD the size of a stick of gum compared to the size of a loaf of bread. It's available in two sizes, 512 gigs and one terabyte. And the one terabyte here has a TBW of 750, which is more than some of the Samsung chips out there. And that's our look into the SK Hynix Gold P31 SSD. It's a consistently quick NVMe SSD at PCIe 3.0 times four speeds. Uh, so if you have a machine that's capable of taking advantage of all of that speed, unlike our poor laptop over here, definitely put this on top of your list because these are the guys that the big boys like Dell and Lenovo count on too. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you watching. And if you're looking for prices, we'll leave Amazon affiliate links down below in the notes. And if you haven't yet, please take a moment now to subscribe to the First Look, Look With Two Zeros YouTube channel. We'll see you all again next time. And that's our look into the... Ah, la, 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 la.